the sports headline tonight, victory for Ulster's rugby players in the European Cup. These extraordinary scenes at Lansdowne Road in Dublin after the Northern Irish beat the French side Colombia. And the party goes on. Now, Dublin is the place to be tonight, but Sue is here to tell us about that sensational win for Ulster. Sue. Yes, John, there are remarkable scenes in the Irish capital Dublin tonight as 50,000 Ulster rugby fans celebrate one of the province's greatest ever sporting victories in the European Cup final. The Ulster men beat the French side Colombia 21-6. Few at Lansdowne Road had expected Ulster to get to the final. Now the Ulster's international ground in the world was waiting for Ulster to complete the fairy tale and Irish President Mary McAleese asked both captains for a good, clean fight. Then battle commenced at a cracking pace. Colombia were first on the score sheet. Fly half Lauren Lebee getting three points from this penalty. But Ulster were having none of it. Foul play by the French was punished by four penalties and by fullback Simon Mason's perfect kicking skills. Here he is. By half-time, Ulster were 12-3 up. To the sell-out crowd included the other Irish lineup of Bertie Ahern, David Trimble and Seamus Mallon. Victory was in sight and Ulster didn't let them down. Just one and a half minutes into the second half and captain David Humphreys gets this drop goal. Colombia picked up a further three points but Simon Mason's kicking was unstoppable. Two more penalties took Ulster to European victory, a final score of 21-6. Well done, Ulster. Now let's go back to Dublin, celebrating after Ulster's, Ulster's victory today. And joining me from the team's hotel in Dublin is our regular commentator on Irish affairs, Eamon Malley. Eamon, it must be a quite remarkable atmosphere today after a remarkable match. They really played their socks off, didn't they? Oh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful day. It's the stuff of fairy tales, you know. People dream of events like this, of occasions like this. And you think that so many people travelled from Northern Ireland for this occasion today and to win so convincingly. It wasn't that classic rugby match, but uh, the atmosphere was just electric. Beautiful, beautiful event altogether. Now, much has been made of the sort of community support and the lineup of both sides of the political division up there in the executive box. And you and I both heard um, uh, Jerry Adams this week saying how much he wanted a ticket. Uh, you know, does this, does this mean sport can have a real role in bringing them together? Well, let's be realistic about this. This isn't going to change the course of history, but it's a, a good fill-up. It's an injection. You know, I think it came at the right time. Governments could spend millions of pounds trying to create a good feel factor, and they wouldn't, as, wouldn't be as successful as this was. The bottom line is that it caught the imagination of the Catholic and Protestant community, unionists and nationalists. We were all here today. We had a wonderful day, and I don't think it's going to end just soon. I think it's going to go on all evening, and I don't think there'll be much work done on Monday in Northern Ireland. Ireland. So there's a really good feel factor going on in the streets of Dublin tonight, I take it. Oh God, it's electric here, you know, it's just wonderful. And uh, the good thing about it, there hasn't been one discordant note all day. People have accepted everybody as equals and it's just been great fun. It wasn't a classic match, but the atmosphere is what it was about and more importantly, we won. Enjoy the celebrations, Eamon, thank you. Thank you. All the old rivalries bring out the best in each nation. The wizardry and flair of France. The burning ambition of Wales. The driving convictions of Scotland. A resilient Ireland. And a revitalised England. Five nations, one ritual. Share it again live with the BBC. From February the 6th on BBC Television and Radio 5 Live. Now on BBC Two, the news and sport with Moira Stewart and Helen Rollison. England coach Glenn Hoddle apologises for any offence caused by remarks he's said to have made about people with disabilities. He says his words were misinterpreted. Groups representing disabled people want him to resign. Robin Cook tells President Milosevic, you must attend peace talks on Kosovo. And Ulster win rugby's European Cup. Now news of a great day for Irish rugby and the rest of the day sport. Here's Helen Rollison. Thank you, Moira. On a very special day for Irish sport, Ulster are the new holders of Rugby Union's European Cup. Thousands of fans made the journey from Northern Ireland to Lansdowne Road in Dublin, where the crowd willed them on to a 21-6 victory over the French side Colombia. <laughs> 
Ulster rugby fans invaded Dublin, determined to enjoy themselves no matter what the result. Many were just thrilled that their unfancied team had reached the final of Europe's most prestigious club competition. On the pitch, Ulster didn't let them down. An early penalty put French side Colomier in front, but then Ulster's game plan clicked. Forward pressure and French indiscretions put the competition's top scorer, Simon Mason, centre stage. He kicked six penalties out of six. His faultless performance putting more pressure on the Ireland selectors to recall him for the Five Nations Championship. The only other Ulster scorer was captain David Humphreys with a perfectly executed drop goal. The final whistle signalled major celebrations. To have won it now, it's going to take a long, long time to sink in, you know, it's just, you can see what it means to everybody out there, all the players and the crowd, it's just, just one of those things you'll never, I'll never forget it now. David Humphreys picked up the cup and shared his moment of glory with former Ulster captain Mark McCall, whose injury earlier this season has probably ended his career. But that will not stop him parting with his teammates tonight. Tom Coulter, BBC News, Dublin. This is LWT, part of the ITV network. Now the ITN News with Katie Derham. From the studios of ITN, the news and sport with Katie Derham and Graham Miller. Good evening, welcome to the programme. The headlines tonight. Tory MEP caught smuggling drugs and pornography says, I've no plans to resign. Glenn Hoddle says sorry, but claims disabled comments were taken out of context. And in sport, it's a fairy tale in Dublin as Ulster lift the European Cup. Thousands of Ulster rugby fans are celebrating in Dublin after their side defied all the odds to win the European Cup. Lansdowne Road was a sea of red and white as Ulster beat the French side Colomier 21-6 in the European Cup final. Our Ireland correspondent John Irvine reports. The Ulster invasion of Dublin saw more than 40,000 supporters make the journey south. Ulster's exploits have inspired people from both traditions and both sides of the border and in unprecedented numbers they came to witness the final chapter of a hoped for sporting fairy tale. Until this season Ulster's European record was played 12, lost 10. But against the French in particular, they've enjoyed a renaissance. On their way here, they beat Toulouse and Stade Francais. And in a final, they never looked like losing. They dominated Colomier. Again, Gallic flair was stifled. Ulster's forwards created the opportunities. And their fullback, Simon Mason, gave another display of precision kicking. In the end, they ran out winners 21 points to six. Ulster are the new champions of Europe. After years of waiting, Irish rugby fans have again got something to celebrate and the province of Ulster will have international recognition for once, for all the right reasons. John Irvine, ITN, Dublin. <laughs> 